Testing. One, two. This is the Mr. Nobody Podcast. Episode two, two, two. This is season two. I may only make one more season. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. Mainly because I feel I owe it to the atmosphere. Myself and to you, the listener. So something happened to me. Something I did not expect. Did not expect. It's gonna be tricky. Talk about tricky, 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 tricky. Well, let me just dip a few toes. Let's see where it goes. After years of eating my own heart. Feeling the, the bitterness It's hard to describe It was like It was like It was like A corrosive acid That was destroying me And it was primarily made up out of resentment, hate, 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 and pointing my finger out into the world at the things that confirmed what I was looking for, what I was looking for. This is so well documented in so many ways. Our confirmation bias. We never think. We never think. We never think. We never think. We never think that we are the drivers of our own suffering our 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 reality at least i didn't think so i suppose deep in my mind i knew i was perpetuating generating very, very negative feeling towards my self, my life, and my dead son, and my dead, my dead son. 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 My Unfair, because he can't, can't defend himself. His overdose, an unforgivable act, something I could not forgive, an unforgivable act, as it wasn't my place to forgive the most egregious crime, or 
maybe the second most egregious crime to take your own life. More specifically, to destroy yourself. Anyway, that's where the vibe hung out for me. Shitty feeling. I could not shake it. I stopped participating in the world. I wasn't able to look at pictures of my son. There he was. 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 Staring me in the face. And it got confusing because it was like I was him looking at him. Our identities were overlapping. And he was he was me looking back at him. someone dies like the way he did young strong beautiful my next generation it feels very unnatural but it happens all the time it happens all the time. So I decided to do this, I guess, radical therapy. And I alluded to it in my first episode What happened inside the experience wasn't foreign to me, because everything is inside of me. Everything is inside of me. Or is it? It doesn't really matter. What matters is what I encountered. I did not expect that I could, I could have love, love, actually feel love and forgiveness and acceptance. These are just words now, but there they were like objects, even places that were alive. I felt like those things were gone forever from my life. I was ready to just do my time and stay away from everybody. What I found inside of me was nothing less than shocking. It was like I was in a dream and I woke up and realized I had been sleeping, sleep, 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 sleep. Where have I been? I participated in a three day, or shall I say, night, 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 sacrament, night, 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 night. Exposure to a plant medicine from the Amazon. No doubt you've heard of it. And I was afraid. I was truly afraid of what I was going to encounter inside myself. The monster, 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 my self. The hate, the anger, my little narrative. I can honestly say I've never been that high, 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 high. not exactly high, the right high. term. It doesn't seem right to describe it that way. Mostly because getting high is usually a form of just jerking off. Escapism has felt different. Deep, deep, deep. And religious. Religious. Deep, deep. And religious. Religious. In the 
very first wave, on the very first night, I heard this message. I heard this message. I heard this message. It said, The true warrior forgives. 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 The true warrior. Gives. Many years ago, in my early 20s, I took a vow to follow that way, to honor myself, my parents. Society and every living thing, and to live my life according to principles that were set forward by warriors who created themselves, who created themselves, created themselves. Because a warrior is not born. They're made. They are self-made. Through principles, training, conviction, and ultimately, love and forgiveness, acceptance, acceptance, acceptance. It's like I've been in a dream. A nightmare. It's hard to describe, but I felt my heart open up, and I heard a bell. I heard a bell ring. Because I knew it was true. That I was not being consistent with my vows, with my principles, here when I needed them the most. Drowning in hate, blame, and my pain, I was missing the greatest lesson. I had really lost my way, and I took in that message: a true warrior forgives. And I told my son, whose presence I felt all around me. I told him I accept his decision. I accept your decision. I love you, son. And that I love him. And that love fills the universe. I wasn't crying like I am now. I was smiling. I was reveling. Bathing.
the love my son and I share. It wasn't destroyed like I thought it was. He didn't mean to end his life. I heard him say, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry too. And I love you so much. A lot of this was happening without language, but it was clear, clear as a bell. I felt my son. Trust me, I was like, holy fucking with me, shit. with me, with me, with me, with me, with me. And all my hatred. And my victimology. disappeared it just disappeared I didn't want to add to the experience by chasing these messages and the drug is very powerful and I had to breathe and keep my mind free not chase it down rabbit holes in these visions, these visions, 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 visions my son told visions, me visions, 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 in these visions that he was with me and that the pain that I've endured has created a bigger heart something that can be evolved only through the fire. A gift, 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 a gift, 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 a gift. A gift of love. Insight. And he said, I'll always be with you. Dad, 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 dad. I don't know. I 
was seeing mathematical equations, things I didn't understand. Is this real? What do you mean? When I asked, where's all this coming from? And I heard a voice say, this is what is inside you. See. This is what you feel. This is what you hear. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. True warrior forgives. How could this be happening? My daughter sent me. She is one of my teachers. Committed myself. In a very normal, peaceful way. To forgive. I didn't know the meaning of the word. Or the action. But when I felt the the love that is inside me, I understood. What do you what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you I had two strings of beads around my neck. One was mine that I had bought at a a garage sale or some shit when I was 17 or 18 years old. The other beads belong to my son. And they were intertwined. And my fingers laid against them. And they became like a a shaker. A talisman. It was obvious that my son and I are intertwined. And we're different. He is who he was. And I am who I am. And I'm 
somewhat ignorant of who those characters really are. There's who I think I am. And there's who I think he is. And then there's who we really, really are. And that's what I was experiencing. I don't know if I could recommend this experience. It was so overwhelming. And it required everything from me. My full attention. And I was grateful for a clean body and some experience with a disciplined mind. That's what got me through it. I realized that toxins are not just things we put in our body, like nicotine or meat or sugar. It's also the shit we put in our minds that we allow ourselves to create. Their vices. My hate. My anger. self-pity. Our vices. And they're vicious. At one point, I heard my son say to me, Dad, I'm always going to be with you, but you have sons everywhere. Sons and brothers, sisters, Mothers, fathers. And they need you. That's some fucked up shit. not predisposed to supernaturalism. This was a revelation. So I felt I owed it you to not leave my message from season one
where I left it and commit myself to a, a path of learning. See where it goes. Mr. Nobody. Out. <laughs>